Hello, welcome to my first video tutorial. Here I am going to explain to you how to avoid CPU throttling, uh, which is um, which seems to be a defense mechanism of uh, of the processors uh, in in computers like the i7 that I have here, uh, which uh, cut off the speed whenever the temperature gets too high so uh, I just discovered that I was having that issue with my laptop uh, it was getting like real uh, hot and real fast and when whenever it happened the, the fan would go to the maximum speed but it wouldn't cool off uh, fast enough, then the CPU would go down. Uh, I have a two gigahertz uh, i7, and the speed would go down to 800. So as you can see now, I have the IDA 64 Extreme Edition open here with the stress test, uh, the system stability test, and I am going to show you how it's working right now that I already have my computer optimized and then I am going to show you how you can fix it in a very few steps it's a very simple procedure that everybody can do and it will save you can even be more aggressive than it was and you can make your computer last longer because the lower the temperature your processor is working uh, the, the longer it's going to last. So uh, let's start a simple CPU test. Okay, with the system optimized, you can see that I, I am using 100% of my CPU and the temperature is around 74, 75. It, it doesn't go above 80. Uh, Celsius degrees. Okay, uh, here you can see I have a multiplier and I have the corresponding CPU clock. So my 2 gigahertz processor is working at 1.8 gigahertz. That, that was my option because I want my computer to last longer. Uh, I am going to show you in a minute. Uh, how, how you can change it. Okay, so I'm going to stop the test. Uh, the secret is here. You go to the power options, like th there is this icon if you are using a laptop, then you go to power options, or if you aren't using a laptop, you probably have to go here to control panel, then you go to Power options, okay, it's the same here. Then you have the plan you are using, so uh, I use the high performance and it's all customized. Um, so you click here, change plan settings, then change advanced power settings. Okay, now uh, you can see if you scroll down here and go to processor power management this is what I want to change okay this is I like to have it at the lowest possible because you know if I am not using the computer I want the machine to save the most battery possible or to burn the, the less amount of energy possible okay uh, and our goal is to change these items okay so uh, uh, of course you can change the limit for battery I'm not going to change that because I already have it and I am plugged in and I wanna show you this like the solution for this problem specifically so uh, if if I have it at a hundred percent which is the the original setup okay I click apply what's going to happen okay I'm going to take this out of the screen 
now I oh oops okay no problem I open this again okay so now I go here to the stress test again okay I have this you don't need to have this program I am using this only so you can see what's happening okay uh, now you will be able to see something some differences here okay uh, I am going to start the CPU stress test again okay and you can see that it's like at 96 Celsius and it shows here overheating detected sometimes you may not even have the overheating but you will have the it's very likely that you will have CPU throttling, especially if you have like a nice series processor because they have this turbo, I think it's called Turbo Boost or something like that. I forgot the name, sorry. But you got the sense. It's like an overclock that, that Intel does on, on their processors and I, I don't know, I, I just feel it doesn't work as it should. So you can see here, throttling, maximum 18%. So it was the maximum, uh, so the maximum percentage of throttling was 18%. Throttling is like the, the system uh, sets your processor back to a lower speed uh, because of overheating. Uh, now it's actually keeping the temperature stable and it's not throttling that much, but the computer gets slower. It's, it's really funny because now I have a 2.4 gigahertz computer that works like slower than uh, it works uh, if I have it working with uh, 1.8. So, um, <clears throat> as you can see, you have this throttling because of the overheat. If I go here, stop, because I'm going to stop this. Okay. So, now throttling is at zero because I'm not using it. And uh, yeah, this you can see this multiplier change at the CPU clock as well because. New processors have this capability of changing their clocks in a way that it's faster when it's in use and it's you know it's lower when it's not. Uh, I am going to change this again. So instead of a hundred, I'm going to set it to ninety-nine. Why? When I set it to, oh, it's called Turbo Boost, I think. So whenever I set it to anything below 100% here, Turbo Boost won't work. It's like disabling, uh, I didn't find a way on my laptop BIOS to disable Turbo Boost. So I can do it here. Okay, you can see that whenever I do something, it doesn't go above 20 because my processor is at 2.0 um, so let's let's try again let's test again well of course now it's going to be a little bit hotter because I am using uh, all the speed of my processor so it's running at full speed but you can see that it's just fine even after a while like it gets a little bit hotter but it won't go above 87 88 celsius um, and no throttling so you won't have this issue okay since i want my, my i want i want my computer to last longer Okay, I think I can even change it during the test. So you can see here, multiplier 20, CPU clock 1995.8. So it's it's working at 2000 megahertz or 2 gigahertz. 
I am going to make it slower now. Let's say 96 percent. Say, see now the multiplier goes down to 19, so my processor is working at 1.9 gigahertz. See here, the temperature went a little bit lower. Of course, I am not running it like. Uh, where is oh yeah we lost the other test but uh, it's not running like 70 something but it's fine 80 80 something is is okay for your processor so that's it I hope you like it I felt the I felt a huge difference playing games like my games were like lagging like hell before and after I just did this uh, my computer makes much less noise my processor will last at least twice it will without doing this I am saving on my electric uh, bill and at the same time everything seems to be running faster so I believe it's a win-win uh, I don't know uh, some would say, oh, but maybe something is wrong with your computer. Well, I tried many other PCs already, desktops, laptops, and the, the, the results were always, like, good. So I believe it's, it's a very nice thing for you to do if you have a couple of minutes and you want to have your computer running faster, smoother, and, you know, and uh, lasting longer so that's it thank you very much if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and uh, um